Hey, welcome back to Right on the Money, your go-to resource for the financial topics that matter to you. Now, if you're just joining us, we are here today talking about a major motion picture. We're talking with Kelly Carter, CEO of Beacon Retirement Planning Group, Scott Bushke, managing partner and founder of Cornerstone Business Services. And as a special treat, you just saw the trailer to this fantastic movie, M&A, and we are joined by Doug Orchard, filmmaker, maybe one of the top grossing documentarians in the country. Doug, I may be over, I don't think I'm overstating that. And also uh, a man who has brought seven major motion pictures uh, to the American public. Doug, thank you for joining us today. It's great to be with you guys. Thank you so much. Now, we've been talking, so we, we introduced uh, the topic. We talked a little bit about the staggering numbers that we're dealing with. Um, tell us, in your words, what made you make this motion picture? Because people see these numbers, but you actually took it a step further and did something about it. So as a filmmaker, all my films that I've ever made, I was interested in topics that had the potential to move the needle for society. Um, when you're trying to make a documentary film, they have a long shelf life if they're done correctly. All my films keep playing. You know, they, they, they go longer than a decade. And usually you're trying to make a film that hasn't been successful in communicating the message in, with any other medium. And that is at the crosshairs of this, this, uh, this issue. Um, my first question was, why is it that we keep repeating the same error over and over? Why is it that the vast majority, almost all, um, when, when you look at an 80% uh, fail rate, why is it that business owners keep repeating the same mistakes over and over when it's pretty well known what they need to do differently? And so you get into the emotional aspects of, of, of us as, as individuals and humans. Um, and when it, and that is a topic that documentaries really do have in any kind of film has the potential to address. So I felt like I could be helpful, you know, in, in addressing it with a movie. You know, one of the things that I took away from the film was uh, something that Kelly and I had been talking about before when it comes to, when it, in the world of taxation, they say that uh, there's two types of tax codes. There's the, the tax code for those that are informed and understand, and then there's the tax codes for those that don't. And as I was watching the movie, that, that was bouncing in my head a little bit of the business owner who isn't prepared and the business owner that is prepared. And I think that's something that, that the film does an amazing job of really bringing to the table. It's always about education. It's always about knowing the rules of engagement that, of the world that you're living in and smiling at reality. And too many people, most people, just kind of move along. Uh, there's a scene in the film with, the, with these actors um, and this one individual chides the other person for going off script. Like they were, they had this strategy that they were doing and they had a new person on the team and she just rails on this person. And she says, those people, they're like actors on the stage. We write the story, they live it. At the end of the story, we win, they lose every single time for 25 years. They've been doing it for 25 years. And that's really what's going on in business. I mean, those who are doing well, they know their space. They know everything that's going on. That's why they do well. There's no easy path. They know all the challenges in front of them. They wake up burdened by all that they have to go through. They'll think of a new idea and they're, oh, but it's this and this, and they have to struggle to find their path. The people who are novice and new, oh, it's just blue skies. You know, it's just, it's a clear lane. There's nothing to worry about. And they get taken for lunch every time. And so what this movie does is brings everybody back up to speed on here's reality. Here's what you're really gets. Here's why you're failing. But more importantly, we actually show here's how you can succeed. Here's what the 20% do every time to have success. With that being said, I want to ask you guys a question here. Um, so with your experience, so uh, Scott, you've got year, decades, and so do you, Kelly, uh, decades of working with business owners. What do you think is the biggest takeaway or the biggest aha moment that you've seen, especially at the premiere, from business owners that came to watch the film, uh, from when they went in to the movie 
to when they came out? Any like, any big ahas that you saw or takeaways that yeah. you saw immediately? Yeah, I think talking to people at, at, when they exited the film was is I didn't know how soon I need to start planning. You know, it, I, they thought that oh, when I'm gonna sell, I want to sell now. Now I'll start to think about it. Where you know, it, it's never too soon to start planning. And and I think the other thing was is that you know buyers aren't out there to just be buddy old pal and give you some high offer. They're out there to get the best deal for them. You know, just as if we worked for a buyer, you know, we were trying to get the best best deal for our client on the buy side. So the buyers are out there and they know the game that's played. They've done it over and over and over again. And they know that if they can get to that seller with no other advisors around him or her, they are 100% of the time going to get a better deal and that seller is going to leave money on the table. And that's what I heard from a few folks is like, man, I think I just saved myself a million dollars watching this film because I went. I would have made mistake A, B, and C. I saw that, yeah, in the trailer. And uh, uh, and now I know. Now I'm educated. I know better. I won't make those same Kel, mistakes. What, what are your What are your take when you when you see those people coming out? The those business owners coming out of the theater. What do you see? Uh, you know, in the conversations that we had there at, at the world premiere, uh, was interesting because again, a lot of what Scott said was, you know, I now know I need to start this process sooner. Some of the folks that were there had already sold some businesses and were in their next venture. And again, they said, look, I left money on the table. I didn't realize some of the things that I need to do. And understanding that there is a solution and that you know, part of the, the partnership between Cornerstone Business Services and Beacon Retirement Planning Group is to educate, as Doug said, that education is critical. Once you have the information to make a good decision, then you bring that team in. I think the other thing is, you know, the, the average CPA and attorney who did your estate plan and does your taxes probably is not equipped, is that a fair word, equipped to be that consultant in the exit process because it's a whole different animal. So, Doug, I have to ask you, when you, when you hear what Scott and Kelly said and you've, you've seen the reaction that your film has, uh, generates, um, you kill it commercially uh, as, a, as a filmmaker. How satisfying is it to have this kind of impact on business owners, on the audience? Thursday, Thursday, I was sitting there, um, so four days ago, I was sitting there um, watching one of my films in, in one of the premieres that were going on. And just behind me were these two business owners and I could hear everything they're saying. They had no idea who I was. <laughs> and so I will tell you, first off, when people are just smiling and enjoying it, you know, in the end, movies still are entertainment. They can't be only education. It has to be entertaining. Um, and I look, I always look around, is anyone asleep? <laughs> anyone leaving? No, uh, I was thoroughly thrilled. I was very thrilled with, with the reaction. Um, the one comment Scott made that meant the most to me, and I've heard this repeatedly, everyone keeps coming up and saying this, I can't tell you how many millions I just made because I invested an hour and 24 minutes of my life. Like if I didn't do that hour and 24 minutes, my path, I would have had millions. In some cases, a lot of millions, not had. I mean, that's how much money is at stake. And it's interesting that you could get that back on course. This film took us four years to make and people don't understand wow. what's really involved in doing something like this. I could have got a PhD. And um, the, the issue here of putting something like this together, the reason it works is 25% uh, of that time was spent, who should be in this movie and, and who are the right people? It's not just that, it's also, you know, when you look at documentary films, you never look at the person at the top of the industry doing the documentary. There's a reason why. They're at their top of their game. They're at the apex of what they make, they generate. They never go out and do something like that. What was different here is I found the individual, Scott Bushke, who's sitting right there. I was speaking at an event, he was speaking at an event. He told me one interesting stat afterwards, how there's $10 trillion at play right now. Um, that, that's the 83% of the business, businesses that are owned by baby boomers that in together add up to $10 trillion and how Statistically, eight trillion of that, 20, only 20 percent will sell, so eight trillion of it will just go poof. And when you when he told me that, I just it was like fireworks going off. I said, I have to make this movie. And, and, but I, and I asked him why? I mean, what's wrong? And the answers 
it wasn't like it was like you sit down and get ready get, and there's just so much about why this is happening it wasn't just any one thing in a nutshell yes they don't have the right team around them and they're not following the advice i mean you could probably get down to that and this movie's unique because it's all coming forward by the business groups and the actual financial experts which everyone's background I mean, it's a it's a really select elite group who's at the top of the industry that are all working together and have been trying to address this problem trying to fix this statistic so this is kind of a flag that they're showing to help improve you know these this failing statistic that is bigger than any other problem we have financially other than social security in our country right now. People don't understand what's the, the financial consequence. When I came out from having seen the movie, one of the things that really resonated with me was it's not just, so you have the business owner, you have the business owner's family, but then you have the employees and you have the community of that business. Like it is no small thing. This movie should be considered document, uh, a documentary and then also uh, almost damn near a public service announcement. Yeah. Yeah. When I made them film The Motivation Factor, it became curriculum at the medical schools. And um, I think that this should be curriculum for sure, certainly in the, in the B schools. And um, I think the, so. the issue is the target audience, a lot of them don't go to B school. You know, B school is really designed for the person who's going to manage someone else's company. Um, and, and the other thing is, how do you make a movie that appeals to a true business owner? Uh, somebody who started a company and built it up to 50 million in value or 30 million in value. These are very intelligent individuals. They like things quick, concise. You've got to synthesize things in a way for them that uh, they stay engaged and get right to the point. That's what this movie does. It moves. It moves along. You can't blink. But it's also very entertaining. <laughs> so the formula is like every four minutes of experts and two minutes of pretty fun acting story and it keeps going along throughout that throughout the movie and it's done you're just shocked it's done when it's done so it is the fastest moving film i've ever made i have to give you massive kudos I, you know to take a to take a serious topic but to make to add the like you just said add the entertainment element to keep you engaged to get this very serious message across thank you for making this movie um we're gonna come back in fact we're gonna have to take a break here uh, but we're going to come back on Right on the Money uh, show, and we're going to talk with Kelly and Scott. We're going to dive in a little more into now that you've seen the movie, now what do you do? Also, I would be remiss if I didn't say this. If you're a business owner, if you're married to a business owner, if your parents are business owners, or you're thinking about becoming a business owner, you need to see this movie. Like Doug mentioned, this should be curriculum at any business school or the school of hard knocks where most business owners come from. So with that being said, to see this movie, if you look down below, we've got links that where you can find this movie in a theater near you. We've got that information for you. Now, uh, with that being said, we'll see you on the other side of the break with these two gentlemen. We're going to keep this conversation rolling.